first of all, I just want to say thank you very much to Homer for a fantastic chart. As we know, again, it does absolutely everything that a person could want on a chart. Geochrome, cross cell dots, muscle balance, suppression test, and contrast sensitivity. But the one thing that it's missing is polarization tests or 3D tests. But as a result of getting a 3D monitor and playing about with a little piece of software called Stereoscopic Player, I have managed to create some 3D tests. So again, for me to activate the 3D tests, I can just move and just double click on a window that I have on my computer. And up comes a binocular geochrome. Doesn't show up particularly well at the moment. And it says, and I've also got a binocular balance using numbers. Now, from the patient's point of view, let's just go on the binocular balance using numbers. Once the person would zoom in, once it starts to focus, it's not focusing particularly well. But as I say, I can promise you that from my point of view, looking through it is quite sharp. But the big difference is once I put the circular polarized lenses in place, that all of a sudden, you're only seeing the top one. And then when I go to the other eye, you're only seeing, if I can get, there we go, the bottom one. Again, going over to the top one, over to the bottom one, and to the top one, and the bottom one. So if this was a 3D camera, which it's not, you'd see the two together, or one on its own. Again, going for the Geochrome version. Okay, just clicking on that one. And there it is again. And again, from a patient's point of view, we have the top and the bottom. And the top and the bottom. And even whenever you're facing it direct on, the polarizers kind of cut out the glare and uh, you can see the effect again, bottom, top, bottom, and top. And so courtesy of that, that pretty much makes the open optometry chart as good as the Thompson chart, as far as I'm concerned. Plus as well, I know that again, that there've been various ideas with regards to controlling it. Now what I actually use, is this happens to just be an ordinary Samsung remote control. What I've done is that I've mapped the various buttons using this little item here. And it's an IR receiver called Flurk. And again, very simple to use, incredibly simple to use. But once you have the buttons mapped, I can basically use my remote control And I can just change from charts to charts to charts. Can smaller, cross, changing lines, randomize. This is all coming from this remote here. I can then also actually change for various optotypes. Change between numbers, Lee symbols. I can go on to my kangaroos, go on to my shapes. Again, change, rotate through the shapes. So essentially with the remote control and the 3D chart, it basically does everything that I could need. And then all I need to do is just to see whether I can now somehow or another integrate the stereoscopic player into the remote control. And if I can, there'll be a couple of project charts going up in Optical Marketplace. Anyone buying?